a Manhattan federal judge has ruled that a woman who claims Diddy raped her more than 20 years ago must disclose her name. This past Wednesday, Judge Mary K. Escochil deemed her arguments wholly meritless. The U.S. District Magistrate explained her reasoning in a formal response. Combs has had no contact with plaintiff for the approximately 20 years since the alleged rape and Combs is currently detained pending trial. As such, counsel has not identified any prison threat of physical harm to plaintiff. Judge Escochil wants the case to be fair for both parties. She's decided that it will be required for the plaintiff to reveal herself in order for Diddy to defend himself adequately. The judge continued, the court appreciates that Combs is a public figure and, therefore, plaintiff is likely to face public scrutiny if she proceeds in her own name. The court is not oblivious to the potential toll of such scrutiny on any litigant, she explained. However, plaintiff's interest in avoiding public scrutiny, or even embarrassment, does not outweigh the interests of both Combs and the public in the customary and constitutionally embedded presumption of openness in judicial proceedings. While this requirement only applies to this case, Judge Mary K. Escochil's ruling could potentially influence other lawsuits against Diddy where the plaintiffs are using aliases. Diddy's defense team has denied the allegations. Jane Doe has until November 13th to reveal her name or the case will be dismissed. Pierre Washington, Unmuted Newsroom, New York.